What's up, everybody? It's Johnny Bronto here with Hot Scene. It's Thursday night. It's 8 o'clock. Special edition. I'm here with my beloved America's sweetheart co-host. Stop Melissa laughing, Luquette. Jenny. Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Hot Scene. We, we also have the Hot Scene mom. Mom's That's all I got. Hot Scene mommy, mommy. she likes to be called. I will call her mommy. In the studio. <laughs> Spooky Thanks Jenny. to Erica. Erica has renamed me Thank mommy. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> so, Erica, horror haps, dead girl. Wednesday nights, YouTube live. Is that Tune in. What kind girl? of shirt you got on there? On there. It is talk, talk less, less, haunt, haunt more. more. I love Which it. Oh, should be doing. Awesome. Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna bring out <laughs> our you, very <laughs> special guest. We're really excited about this. Uh, that is going to be Mr. Petey from. From Spooky Empire. Petey. So Petey. let's go ahead and make sure that he's unmuted first. Unmute. Oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta what well, we gotta give the little thing. Oh, oh Maximus Max Christian oh, Bryant is awesome. awesome. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. He's our new sponsor now. So let's go ahead and unmute him, bring him on. And there he is. Woo, Petey. Woo oh, Petey. Hey Petey. What's up, Petey? What's going on? So Petey. What we yes. do in the beginning of the show is we do what's called the elevator pitch, which gives you a chance to introduce yourself, tell us your life story, tell us all about what you do, what 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 you do for Spooky Empire, what Spooky Empire is for all the normies at home that are watching throughout America. All right, well, I'm Petey Mangelli, aka P Pumpkin Eighty, uh, oh. aka Purple Wizard. <laughs> um, I'm I'm an author. I write, I wrote a children's book. Um, I uh, do a whole bunch of other kind of jobs, but I also run Spooky Empire. So I guess that's, that's it. I, you know, if you know anything about Spooky Empire, um, I, me and my wife run the convention and. Um, Hi, Gina. <laughs> Hi, Gina. <laughs> hey. All right. We have questions and if you have a question at home put that in the chat we'll uh we'll try to get to them if we can uh but we have a spooky empire event coming up next week Woo! which is awesome pd's uh still working on it sounds yeah. like <laughs> to the last second <laughs> so so is it is it something where like you you're like nervous up until the last absolute second and then the doors open and people start coming in when when does like the relief come in is it is it after the doors open or after the event's completely over sunday night sunday night yeah when um i i usually end up at the party at the end of the night on sunday night where everybody else is out there and there's a relief there um i always say that's the best night of the convention is Sunday night because I can go out there and enjoy and everybody tells their stories for the entire weekend. And um, everybody just sits around the pool or um, the lobby or wherever it is at the time. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think Sunday is when I start relaxing a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. nice. um, but I'm, I'm stressed out the whole weekend. I, yeah. If you ever see me, I'm just like, yeah. you know, yeah. 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 If you do, if you happen to see PD, which is, you got about a 50 50 shot. Usually, <laughs> PD is in motion. Yeah. Like, he's like, walk with yeah. me, yeah. walk always, with me like, kind of thing. Around. He's yeah. always running yeah. around doing all the things. Yeah. yeah awesome. I'll, I'll always say hi and I'll always talk to you, but sometimes you got to follow me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, that's why I said, like, walk this with is the me, first time uh, you know? I actually get to sit and talk to you because I always see you at the event, but you're always busy, so I can never come up and talk to you. Yeah, yeah. So. We're yeah. five minutes into the show, and I think this is the longest we've ever Yeah, I think it's the longest I've ever in one In one setting. There you go. Well, if you guys go to pre shows, some of the, you know, we, to do the parties what at um a couple times we've done the the pre-parties and those you get to see them yeah more. oh thursday yeah thursday yeah. night um yeah i'm kind of relaxed thursday night after um because most of my staff is getting the show ready at that time yeah you know you got like you know kim's getting all the vendors all in and everything like that and uh you know the volunteers are getting you know dina's working on all the volunteers and stuff like that and we got Steven who uh, gets ready for the, all the, you know, volu I mean, the VIPs and stuff. Thanks. So there's always like a little staff that really works really hard on Thursday night that, um, yeah. Yeah. and I get to like, cause my kind of job's like not really going crazy right at that time. So I can go to, the, you know, the pool or hang out and stuff like that to see everybody at the bar. 
Yeah, uh, we every episode it seems like the circle gets a little bit smaller because we've had Dina on the show. She's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Dina's awesome. We had James on the on the show yeah. a couple weeks ago or a week ago. I don't know. It all blends together now. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but she's awesome. So we had yeah we've had David on, uh, from, um, Art the Clown. Uh, yep, oh, yeah. yep. Awesome. So let's uh, let's do a little preview of the event, and then we'll we'll get into the questions. So let's just knock this out real quick. All right. So we've got this one's uh, going to be April thirtieth to May second. Also another spooky. Sounds like it's going to be huge in October this year. Yes. Uh, remember, tickets are on sale. It's uh, you got to buy the tickets online. Yeah. Uh, it, the no tickets are sold at the door, so make sure. No, you take we're care of that we're doing time. everything online. It's just easier. So, you know, if COVID rules and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got to wear a mask. Yep. All that Those stuff. Lessons. Everything yeah. went very smooth, I think, at the pop-up event yeah, it did in, in December. Good, yeah. So let's just keep that going. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And uh, let's talk about the guests. So. Yeah. You got a really great lineup, too. Yeah. <clears throat> pretty, pretty good lineup here. Here's the here's the art. Here's the, the things. Let's get into the individual guests. <laughs> All right. So these are not in any particular order. I didn't put these in order of like who I want to see or anything like that. This was literally how PowerPoint put them together. Thank you, Microsoft. <laughs> uh, but we've got we got Tom Sizemore. Tom yeah, Sizemore. He's, he's an interesting yes. guest. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I honestly, I I was like Tom Sizemore goes to conventions. I did not know. I know. That. I know him for a lot of things. Yeah. Especially Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's I'm I'm kind of excited to see what you know he's all about. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, it'll be yeah. interesting. For sure, he's uh, definitely had. Uh, he's definitely got some history. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got Michael. I don't, I'm gonna say the name wrong. But Bean, Bean, Michael Bean. Bean. I, I think it's Bean, okay. and uh, he's been wanting to come to the show for a long time. It just hasn't been right, and it worked out for this show. And um, yeah, I'm excited about him too. He's great. He's the, he's the coolest guy. He's awesome. He's. And yeah, I think Terminator, he's. Always people, to in, like, him. Yes. in like my age group, and I'm dating myself. He was the person you wanted to be in the 80s. Yeah. You know, not Tom Cruise. You wanted to be Cowrie, so you wanted to be um, Hicks from Aliens. Yeah. So he's awesome. Um, Big musical guest this year, Corey Taylor. Yes. Very excited about Corey Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. I believe this could be his first convention, maybe. I mean, I I think it's one of his first show he's going to be doing. So Mm -hmm. treat him good. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. of course. Oh, uh, Rick, uh, I gotta Rick? give a shout out to Rick, 13X Studio. He's doing limited edition uh, Slipknot masks, yeah. so that'll oh, be nice. really cool. Yeah, Excellent. Cool. Yeah. I got Barry Bostwick from yeah. many, yeah. many things, but probably best known from Rocky Horror Rocky Picture Horror Show. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. That's yep. awesome. Uh, David Naughton. Got, I've, I've uh, met him. He's such a nice guy. Yeah. I met him. Yes, he's yeah. a sweetheart. I love him. Yeah, David Norton, uh, he, he did like one of our first shows, and I loaded, like, we had a break room. And I loaded it up with Dr. Pepper. And he was like, is this for me? I go, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we got Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, Amazing. Yeah, that's... Well, just Close legend. Encounters. Jaws. Jaws. What about Bob? What about Bob? What about Bob? Oh, my, oh my I God. I forgot about I that. I love that movie. Give me, give me, give me. I need, I need. <laughs> Rick knows what I'm Baby talking about. Yeah, Baby steps. Baby steps. Yes. Baby steps. <laughs> uh, Girls of Halloween. Daniel Harris. Daniel Scott Harris. Taylor. Compton. Yep. And... K something, Krista. Chris, Christina B something. No, Christina. Nope. Somebody help, will know in the help chat. Us. Someone in the chat Somebody help us. Help us. Um, you know what type it I is. love those girls, Ben, yeah. and they're definitely party girls. Yeah. I don't know if uh, they've been to our show a couple times, and they're always in the middle of the party, man. They are incredible, awesome. cool. I, yeah, I love the Halloween cast. I met Tyler Man, Tyler Bain. Is that it, Tyler yeah. Bain? Yeah, 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 Tyler Bain. Yeah, a few years yeah. ago, really nice guy. <clears throat> Got it. Warrington Gillette, uh, Jason from Friday Thirteen Part yeah. Two. That's gonna be yeah. awesome. I always love to see some sort of Jason I at love, the show, if not more love than Friday one. Friday Thirteenth, yep. A living legend, uh, Rico Browning, yep. feature of the back yep. of the yeah. Rico Rico Browning, Rico? like uh, he, he's the last living Universal Studios right. monster oh, wow. man, and yeah. it's he's just amazing. And I love the creature, yeah. and you know, he'll be at our show until <laughs> that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, awesome. and then we. So don't, but don't mess around and yeah. not need him. I mean, yeah, definitely. If yeah. He's in his late nineties. Yeah, he's going strong. Yeah, he looks yeah. great for his age. So getting a lot yep. farther than I will. <laughs> right. And then we got Alex Vincent from Child's Play. Child's Play. That's going to be awesome. awesome. He, he's been. I think he's the 
he's been to our convention more than any other guest. Well, he's yeah. he's local, right? He is local, and um, he's just you know the, the Chucky movies are just an amazing you know franchise and everything like that, and yeah. uh, he's just been a fan of the show you know since yeah. day one and well day two he came to our second show <laughs> you know he's a nice guy he's a nice guy to talk to yeah, really awesome guy he's really cool yeah awesome and i don't i think i think that i got everybody i apologize if i left anybody out okay that was all the pictures that i i was able to pull and all kinds of events and and unique spooky merch, course, merch. and opportunities merch. and costume oh. contests I always, I always go crazy on the merch and buy all the things. Yeah, you just have yeah. To... I mean, our our merch, we we uh we love doing the merch. It's like one of my favorite parts of the show mm-hmm. is designing the t-shirts and stuff like that. And my my buddy Andrew, he he uh he does all the artwork. I come up with the you know the theme, and he just you know draws it all up, and it's just always incredible stuff. All the you know t-shirts he came out with. I love the you know I'm I'm an '80s kid, so everything's a throwback. Yeah. To, to yeah. Quiet Riot or or Metallica yeah. or something yeah. like that. I love love the art that they put together. Yeah. And then we have the tiki mugs. The tiki mugs are like you know super rare and you know not yeah. not too many other people are doing those. And I I think that's always a cool thing. And my whole theme I don't know if you caught the theme this year is uh, we're into Satan and hell and the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, then I might have to dress up one day. You so, like, hopefully it. Saturday yeah. night, everybody dresses up as the devil by the pool. You know, oh, there you all, right. Go. all right, all right. In their awesome. greatest satanic yes, yeah. wear. <laughs> Top right corner picture, Tiki from Hell. Love yeah, it's it. right there. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, Javier Santos is in here from the Vampire Circus. They uh. Um, ah, there he is. Have you heard of the Vampire Circus, Petey? Yes, I have. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you yeah. guys should do something together. We'll just we'll just connect you guys. Would, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's he's awesome. No, I would love I would love to do something like that. Um, it's just always it's it's about you know the space or whatever yeah. you can do. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's oh. awesome. Um, we do. If have I dress questions. up, drink water. Yeah, I totally okay. will. Definitely, Johnny. All right. The the need to know here. Remember, all the information is available on SpookyEmpire.com. Here are the hours. You can get these on the website as well. Um, you know, it opens up on Friday. Get there. Um, I believe if you if you had tickets from one of the events that was canceled, bring your tickets. You can redeem them at either event this year. Yeah. Uh, here are the hours for the autograph room, vendor rooms, tattoo festival. You know, go go get some. Go, oh, get also, some. come by on Thursday night. Come by Thursday night by the pool. We're all hanging out there. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's always a, a very cool day to just relax before the actual yeah. event before, happens. Before yeah. the plunge. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yes, okay. Well, we may have to do yeah, that. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. And and then obviously follow social media on uh on for for Spooky Empire and everything. Instagram.com, Twitter, follow all the things. And that is your that is your 9-minute preview of Spooky Empire upcoming. There you go. <laughs> so so there we go. All right, let's let's get into some questions. Let's do this. I think we got questions in the chat already mm-hmm. and we have a list of a lot yeah, of questions as well. Here. All right. So let's go. There we go. Awesome. So let's take a let's do a question in the chat here. Uh, I know there were several. I saw okay. many of them. Um, uh, are you doing uh, a clown walk or anything like that before the show this year? Not for this show. I think we'll save it for next next year. Things are um, we're st- we're still like in you know a pandemic, right. so like yeah. we can only do so much. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to you know give you you know the best we can yeah. for what we're you know we're <laughs> you know, still feeling comfortable with. Um, I know a lot of people are being vaccinated and stuff like that. And um, I think, you know, most people will be vaccinated by the show and everything. So I'm hoping by October, we can start doing stuff like that. You yeah, know, that'd be awesome. But the, the clown awesome. march was awesome. And before that, we used to do the zombie walk, which yeah, I think yeah, we'll bring yeah. back. Yeah. Um, the zombie walk was just always like over the top. Amazing. Yeah, it you. is. It's a lot of fun. And it looks like JD. Thank you, JD. <clears throat> Uh, you just put the link in there for the mm-hmm. pre-sale ticket. So awesome! Thank you for that. Love JD. I think that's for the tiki. Oh, for the tiki. Yeah, that's okay. for the tiki mugs. Well, then oh. you better pre-sell it by the damn tiki mug. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna start oh, off here. Good. We got nine questions to ask you. Okay. Nine questions, and hopefully these will be fun. <laughs> First question: um, What was the moment? that you knew 
you were into horror? Like, what was the the moment of your life where you're like, this is what I want to be? This is what I want to be. I don't know about it's, this is what I want to be, but the first uh, time I started watching horror movies, I, I was like, I don't know, like 12 or something. And I had a friend named Tom Schimpf. And uh, I'm a little older, so like you, you'll understand. Um, he was the first one on our block to get a um, VCR. <laughs> I, I remember the VCR, yeah. And good days. And he, so he went and got a couple movies, and uh, the first movie was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm-hmm. And we watched that movie, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is awesome!" And, and uh, Tom was like, uh, like one of those kids that got the Fangoria magazine. Oh, that's and awesome! And he like so he was really, really into it. Um, and uh, he just like he brought it all into the neighborhood. And then um, once we started getting VCRs and stuff, we'd bring our VCR over there so he could start taping the movies. Oh, that's cool. And then, then we started seeing all the movies and then we'd go to the movies and sneak in. Like we'd buy a ticket for one movie. We were still <laughs> underage. Yeah. So we'd buy a movie for like a PG movie mm-hmm. and then sneak into all the movies and we'd, <laughs> you know, do a whole day of it. We'd go early on Saturday and stay all night and, and go see like four movies, you know, crazy. sneak into each movie theater. Yeah. yeah the good old days. I, awesome. used to, I used to do that as a kid though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the, the first, the first movie that scared the hell out of me was nightmare on Elm street. Really? Yes. Um, yeah, we, here. we did, we did not know at the time who Freddy Krueger was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we went to the movies and we we're like, Oh, this is a horror movie. We were like scared. <laughs> crapless you know <laughs> and um we like the blocks where i lived uh looked like elm street a little bit uh-huh. and uh one of our um one of our friend's parents dropped us off at their house and i had to walk home by myself oh, oh, my goodness. and i just remember <laughs> running down the street thinking of that one scene when freddy krueger had the big arms yeah, yeah, like yeah. This. Yeah. Yeah. and he was going like that and yeah. that was in my head the whole time and i'll always remember <laughs> that scene because of that <laughs> when I was running home thinking that was going to happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. So, I love that. I, I, guess, I, yeah. I guess that's when I started. Like, I was really young. And that, that was, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was, like, the first time. So. Yeah. yeah. Robert Robert England still on my bucket list, I heard he's such, such a nice guy. And I hope he, I hope he does come back to I Spooky so, so I can too. meet him. Because I really yeah. want to meet him. Because mm-hmm. last time. He's I awesome. Had a ticket mm-hmm. and everything ready to meet him. And then we had the hurricane. That yeah. That was the last time yep. he was. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. Jenny? Yeah. Jenny's got a question. So um, how long have you been involved with Spooky Empire and um, like how did it originate? Spooky Empire started like I think 18 years ago. Okay. Okay. And um, we uh, like I had partners in the beginning. It wasn't even called Spooky Empire. It was called Scream Fest. That's right. Yep. And um, we started in South Florida. It was in a little hotel Holiday Inn in Plantation. Oh, that's where and I, um, <laughs> I had like two other partners and we became partners because we were working on um, this Broadway show called The Lion King. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and uh, we went to dinner and we I was telling them that I would like to do a convention, you know, and at the time, I don't know if it was going to be a horror convention at the time. I think it was going to be a rock and roll convention. OK. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the guys that was one of my partners was like, well, I go to the site. You know, I go to the Star Trek conventions and I, he goes, I like that. I, I think it's pretty good. And then the other guy was like, I'm in whatever you guys are doing. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't care. He was just in. So I, I, I was like, you know, rock and roll was kind of dead at the time, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson were starting to get into this whole horror thing going on. And I was like, well, let's do a horror convention, man. And. Um, the, the convention scene was kind of weak at the time. Like it wasn't, it didn't fit me. Yeah. You know, like, um, I, I was like, it was like, I, I hate to say this cause I'm going to get a lot of bad feedback, but it was really geeky. Right. You know? And, um, I was like, well, I'm cool. I'm not a geek. Yeah, right, I, I don't want to like, be cool. Now it's now cool nerds. to be a dork. Now, now it's we cool are to be a nerd. Yeah. And... A hot nerd. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like a cool guy, man. Like I, I don't want like. <laughs> this whole geek thing. And, um, at the time I, there was, um, there was two big conventions at the time. Well, there's three, but there was two like really big conventions and FX was one of them. And I mm-hmm. loved it. It was, it was a great, great convention. And then Megacon, which I was not a fan at all. Cause that was not my people, Yeah, you know? 
Um, so I, I wanted something like cooler and hipper and rock bands were playing at it. And, you know, so like we, you know, developed this whole concept that I think a lot of people, a lot of conventions now steal from us, <laughs> you know, have, you know, branched off that like, they kind of are like carbon copies of spooky emperor with a different name. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know what they yeah. say about imitation. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but that, that's how we kind of got started. It was just like, you know, it was 18 years ago. And we just felt that we thought it would have been a cooler idea. And I, I think it worked. We, I think females it started going idea. to the conventions and, you know, people started having intercourse and stuff. At the <laughs> Very it worked out well, right? Babies were being conceived. We, we and, you know, <laughs> Petey's like, we gotta, we gotta set up that next yeah. generation. Yeah. When, when we, when we started the conventions, I think it was our second convention we were sponsored. One of our sponsors was Trojan Condoms. <laughs> this is awesome. That's nice. awesome. <laughs> nice. And, you know, we were giving out condoms to everybody. And everything was great. And and the show was small. Yeah. Like, this was like when you could, you know, make all your mistakes because the internet wasn't popular yet. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And b- believe it or not, 18 years ago, the internet was not like it is now. Oh, yeah. You know? That's true. So yeah. With Facebook we, and everything. Um, yeah. We had like this little screening room where we showed movies and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And we were showing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm-hmm. And Gunnar Hansen was in the room and everything. And there, there was only a couple of people. And I walked in the room and then I look over and there's two people having sex oh. <laughs> in the room. Yeah. Well, they were I like, mean, they got the tr- Trojan. Trojan. I yeah. And I was like, I was like, you must be doing something right. <laughs> Gotta put yeah. it to good use, right? Yeah, right? If it's there, I, you gotta yeah, use I it. would love to see like a piece of like promotional material, like like Spooky Empire or Scream Fest, sponsored by Trojan. <laughs> Trojan. So what it was, we they sent us boxes and boxes oh of condoms. Wow. I mean, that's so, good. <laughs> so oh, be safe at Spooky that's Empire. Right. This year yeah. too. Wear your wear your mask. Yeah. Wear your mask. Mask it up. Wear your mask. <laughs> and uh i'm seeing to your left it looks like uh scream fest is that like a little banner or t-shirt or something I oh these were um th- oh this thing right here is um uh, these are all the old t-shirts someone made a blanket out of it oh, oh, that's so cool. and um I, I just i thought i'd put it on the wall yeah. it was kind of cool that's yeah, really in my neat. office that's really neat yeah, I think I, think, I love oh, right the here. one up top. The one up top, the, the one pumpkin. from last. It was two October thirty first. I like that one. What with was, the black cat? Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that, that was, was the, the last one, one that we had yeah. in October. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of Scream Fest ones on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very cool. That is very, very cool. nostalgic. Nice. Very cool. nice, and, nice. Then, and then somewhere in there, there's like a Trojan. He's like a Trojan thing. <laughs> Sponsored by Trojan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Spook Empire has been great. And we got some people commenting here. Any rock bands this time around? I mean, Corey Taylor's going to be there, yeah, but Corey I don't Taylor. think there's going to be. Yeah, ho- hopefully we'll have um, rock bands in October. We're going to have. Uh, we're back at the Hyatt Regency in October, and uh, we're going to build that stage in the hallway. I don't know if you remember that stage that's in the hallway, and we'll probably have bands playing on that awesome. all weekend long. Which which one is the Hyatt Regency? The, the one across the street from Universal? No, that's the no, double tree. No, the one across that's the street from the uh, convention center. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Oh, has it has it been there before? Yes. It's yes. We were there right? twice. Uh, yeah okay it's, it's my favorite place to do the convention Perfect. it is my all-time favorite okay. place nice i love spooky empire mayhem 2013 eric from from Amis descent says that's awesome what's up, yeah eric? what's up eric eric's in the house talk, buddy all right so go ahead and uh ask the next uh, one what was your favorite celebrity guest interaction that you've had at spooky empire if you had uh, you had to pick just one just one mm-hmm. uh or favorites, if you have. If like, you have if you time. had to take a celebrity yeah. interaction on a desert island. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I have like three. My I have three people, but that's fine. To pick one, we it would have to be. Three. It's fine. Yeah. We've got time. Well, okay. So Sh- Shannon Doherty from Nine Hundred Two One Zero. Uh, okay. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Dude, we were hanging out, drinking, having a good time. I kept making fun of her the whole night going, every time I look at her, I go, dan, 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 Because I heard I I love Shannon Doherty. Vern Troyer. Had some really great times with Vern Troyer. Dude, every, like, if you're hanging out with him and you're drinking with him, which he could out drink anybody. Oh, boy. Um, Every, every, girl in the place goes up to him 
<laughs> he got more women than any celebrity I knew, you know? <laughs> and then uh, Tara Reid. I love oh, Tara yes. Reid. Yeah, yeah. I love Tara yeah. Reid. Yes, yes, yes. Tara Reid. Yeah. You know, she drank with us all night partying with us. That's cool. You know, cool. I, I, I just like the people that, you know, can keep up with us. Yeah. 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 True, yeah. True. And all through all three of those uh, celebrities kept up with us. That's yeah. awesome. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we got a, I think somebody's asked this a couple times in the chat. Oh. Uh, will we ever get John Carpenter or Tom Atkins back at Spooky? Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, um, both of them have been to the show. Um, you know, we, we always, John Carpenter, I, I invite every year. It's just, you know, hopefully he'll, you know, it could happen in October, you know? Um, it, it depends if he wants to come kind of, you know? Yeah. Well, with Tom Atkins, I mean, Tom Atkins, I met him before. Yeah. He, he, he's been to our show like once or twice. I met him at a different convention in who, Ohio. I did. Who's, who's Tom Atkins? He's again? the he's guy from, uh, season, season, of, the season of the witch. witch. Oh, okay. okay. From Halloween three. three. Yes. Halloween three is like so hot this year. Everybody's like, it like, is. just like it is. It's loving it. Yeah. It really is. Everybody hated it, and then now everybody loves it. It's just, it, I thought it was it, you know, if if it wasn't, if it was its own movie, yeah, like if it was just called Season of the Witch, yeah, yeah. I think I think it would have been. But then again, maybe it wouldn't be because it's a cult movie because of what it yeah. what it was in the Halloween yeah. series. I, I saw that in the movie theater on when I was young, and one of those you know times I was jumping from movie theater to movie theater. Yeah um yeah it was great yeah. i remember i loved it then i love it now yeah yeah it's a great movie and tom hackens is a really nice guy too uh, awesome. there's another question in the chat someone asked too uh will richard dreyfus take pictures at his table or only photo op um i believe it probably is going to be photo ops only okay. with him that's how it was the last time just because of the lines yeah he is a popular guy so yeah um, if, if the lines aren't as bad as the last time, which I don't think it's going to be as bad as the last time. I don't know if you were there the last time, but it was like, the line was, re- that's when you had, uh, John Cusack too, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. The last the line, time was there. But when he was took that? pictures at the table. Cause I remember watching people and I did, wanted to meet him then, but it was just, no, I don't think he did. Oh, he I don't did? think I, no, I, I, I know he bought ice cream for everybody on the line. Yeah. That's, oh, that's cool. Really that's good. cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's see. We got JD in here. What's the best way for fans of Spooky Empire to help spread the word about the show? Um, like, post, comment <laughs> on all our social share media. The, Buy a ticket. Out of it. Yep. You know, share, share. tell your friends, you know, that you're Watch coming. on scene live to talk to Petey. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know, just spread the word. Like, yeah. getting, getting the word out there and yeah. just talking to people. You know, let everybody know how awesome it is, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Spooky Empire is uh, a completely different vibe from any any of the other conventions that I've gone to. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. I, I always think it's like my personality. Like yeah. everyone's like, oh, I mean, you you can do a carbon copy of my show. You yeah. know, you can mm-hmm. do this yeah. or that or this, but you don't have me. Yeah, <laughs> right. true. You know, and yeah. that's what brings that whole rock and roll party feel to it. PD makes you know? Spooky I mean, Empire. <laughs> I've been to a few conventions, but PD's the only one that like I could say I know who yeah. the owner is or right. who. Yeah. It's you know? not some nameless, and faceless hangs entity. Out and, and he's personable and he'll always say hi to you and how are you doing? And yeah. And, and Spooky Empire is just unique. I, yeah. I, I it's love it. fam. It's, like it you is. go yeah, and is. you're so excited to see everybody, yeah. meet the celebrities, you meet people, you meet friends. be in your realm. Like, well, where... the, the thing that makes you know Spooky Empire different than others is the fans. Our fans are just so yeah. great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's more than the celebrities at the show yeah, or yeah. more than a- anything else at the show. We're just like a bunch of people that just want to hang out and, you know, just get to know each other. And, you know, and there's there's nobody like there, there's no, it's not that stuck up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's welcome and everybody, you know, and you which is friends. awesome. Like we met know? we met Jenny there and yeah. we met Rick there, you know, there's yeah. a lot of new friends that came and out the, of it. Yeah. We spooky. All my friends. So. Yeah. That's where that's where that whole family thing came from. The spooky family yep. all came from like all of us just, you know, enjoying us, you know? Yep. So um uh freddie we did we did talk about this there will be a get together at the pool but it's not going to be like an official party with like a dj and all right. that but but definitely come out on, on but we're all there like yeah. you yeah, know we're all there. like we are the party P- you know pd's just gonna walk around with a boom box above his head <laughs> and pick the music you know? exactly yeah <laughs> 
We need awesome. to have that. That would be great. <laughs> uh, all right. Why don't we use... Wait, I, I think in December that happened. One, one of the guys brought his uh, his radio down there and he, he just started playing the music, you know? Hey, that's all you need. I don't remember. You that's we also drink a lot, too. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. You, I did. Think you did. You did. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Didn't you jump in the pool in December? I, I that was, a lot. No, 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 that, that was, was a couple years ago. That was a few ago. years okay. ago. I drank a lot and actually jumped in the pool with Jenny's Actually, that was Alex. the night. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you have clothes in? I did, did have clothes, clothes on. on. Yes, yes, I did. Oh. They didn't let me strip down, unfortunately. <laughs> they didn't let you? Yes. We didn't let you. You know, that's how the pool party started. You know that, right? Yeah. You just get naked and jump in. It was like, I think, like at least 10 people. People were naked in the pool. Uh, I'll remember and, that for next time, Petey. I'll remember that for next weekend. Okay. Yeah, we're <laughs> jumped in, in naked. <laughs> Take it off. I can just see this. Oh, the scenes, Melissa. This is going to go wrong, Petey, real fast. So, speaking of, go ahead, Melissa. <laughs> uh, this one? Four. Four. Oh, uh, what was the most impressive costume or cosplay you've ever seen at Spooky Empire? Um, I mean, there, there's so many amazing costumes, but the one that comes to my mind the most was, um, um, one of the guys dressed up as Beetlejuice, but it was like identical to Beetlejuice. Wow. And, um, the first time around he, he entered the costume contest and he lost and I couldn't even believe it that he lost the costume. Contest. Wow. Then he came back and did it even more. And he had the whole arms and the hat and everything oh, wow. like that. And it, it just blew me away. He, he eventually won one. the costume contest. What? Oh, with like the yeah. carnival hat. Uh, yes, yeah. I remember yeah. seeing that one. That was impressive. That was amazing. Yes, that is pretty cool. impressive. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, there's been so many amazing, amazing costumes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. You know. They, I mean, over the years, it's just you know. But that that was the one that I enjoyed the most. John's Beetlejuice. That's what he put. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Erica said, "Yeah." Yeah. All right. That is cool. Uh, I, 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 one of my favorites was the the Elvira pop. That was just oh, so the cool. Elvira, Elvira pop. pop. Yes. Same guy. Oh, okay. So oh, that, okay. So they, that guy just Same brings it every year. Yeah. Up, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, he, he's just amazing every year. He, he comes amazing. up with just amazing costumes John every year. Lee. That's what Jackie. And there's there's a yeah. group of guys who did the Jaws reenact, and they had the signs and everything too. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if you remember seeing that one. They were on the signs like "Don't go on the beach." I love and stuff when like they that. do like yeah. the group stuff. I do too. Yeah. And we we've, we've had people dress up as me at the convention, which is kind of funny, yeah. You know, <laughs> um, funny. and then there was like, I mean, just amazing, amazing costumes. I mean, I mean, you could go like on our social media, you could see most of them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you, that's one of the things I really like about um, the social media for Spooky Empire is you do a really good job about documenting the event mm -hmm. to show it and off. The, the I try. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't do. You know, 100% great, but like, um, I try my best. Well, there's you know? so many people that share things yeah. too. Yeah. So yeah. You do get a lot of we, we have We have great fans. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We have really They're great fans, fans that, that oh, really yeah. love, you I know, like Spooky the, Empire. Um, I mean, the Easter Bunnies. Yeah, was that yeah. that yeah. was a few years ago at the party. Yeah. There was like three of them all covered in blood and yeah. stuff. And they Absolutely were jamming awesome. out to the, to the dance party. It was great. It was great. <laughs> Very dedicated. Yeah, that's, that's one of my favorites. I love when the yeah. those, the bunnies come out there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know. I have a picture with those bunnies. The bunnies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I put it up like every Easter. Every, There's my every picture. Easter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of like fans, the so I know earlier somebody was asking about the tiki mugs. Um, yeah. But the tiki mugs, I know they have kind of like a backstory to it. Do you want to? Is there a story to the tiki mugs? Did it originate from something? I oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, I know where you're getting at. Yeah. Um, the so the the first tiki mug was um, we did a bill a tribute to Bill Heinzman. Yeah. Um, which um was he he was actually used to come to every single show yeah. too. He was like the Alex Vincent. Yeah. Um, and he's the zombie from Night of the Living Dead and he was one that the fans really loved yeah and um he passed away you know a couple oh, of years ago and um he was just a fan favorite so i i decided to do a tribute to him by making the tiki mugs and um it was it was a really cool really great mug i don't know yeah. if anybody has a picture if they want to pop it up or anything like that but um yeah it, it was really and we, we only made 50 of them and um they went they were you know they went they were really sold quick out. You usually um, and then after that, we, you know, I'm, I love the whole tiki movement, the whole tiki world, and everything like that. So I started making tiki mugs for every year, you yeah. know. 
And um, we did one for Rico, Creature of Black Lagoon one. Yeah. And last year we did uh, the Vintage Halloween one. Yep. This year we're doing the devil, yeah, you know, Perfect. Satan. Yep. So yeah. that looks awesome. It is. So. Awesome. awesome. All right. This is, I think this is a good question. This is a good I'm going to let Melissa okay. ask this one. I wanted to ask this one. All but right. I'm gonna let so if you could go back in time and tell a young PD just starting a horror convention, what advice would you give yourself? <laughs> <laughs> that is a gr- that's a great question. <laughs> um, trust nobody. <laughs> that's first and foremost. That should be it has uh, to be every day, honestly. <laughs> uh, don't don't have partners. <laughs> that, that's that's a big one. That's that's rough. You know, yeah. having a partner and you don't have your your vision gets taken away. Yeah. You know, um, sponsored by Trojan <laughs> and um, I, I, I mean, I guess those are the two most important things. I mean, otherwise, like everything's been like amazing doing Spooky Empire, you know, um, and, oh, and and save your money yeah. because there's there's the next year you might not have any money. Yeah. <laughs> you true, might yeah. owe that money. That's true. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah, um, you never know, what's you know, it's. Mm-hmm. There, there's, um, you know, the, the, the show sometimes makes money, sometimes it loses money. Yeah. So, like, don't ever think that. And, you know. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that that would be it. I mean, otherwise, I mean, I mean, I, I think I've been on the same path since I was a little kid. Yeah. So. We got a question in the chat. I see a couple of questions that are repeat. So we'll go ahead and get these. Um, I understand master required. But in the photo opportunities, can they be removed for the photos or will they still be required for those? I believe, I believe, I'm not saying definite. I believe that most of them will be able to take, you'll be able to take your mask off or even maybe all of them. Um, Supposedly most of the celebrities will be vaccinated by the time of our show. And, um, I think it's going to be a quickie. Like you, you take off your mask and then you put it back on. (laughs) And probably you know? not like right next to them, but a lot of them, sometimes they did like, you. they'll be behind you and you could do like, yeah, I know some, yeah. Of, some of them in December yeah. didn't have them and you were able to get ne- yeah. next to them. Yeah. Some of them you were. Yeah. yeah. From what I remember. Yeah. Uh, we got, a, we got a question. Uh, raid. Um, actually we're going to, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. That's actually one of our questions. So hold that, hold that. Thought. Oh, wait, hey, oh, before I say this, I believe that. Um, the at the table, you're probably going to have to wear your mask at the table, though. Yeah. If you take pictures at the table, but the photo ops, I think you're going to be able to take them off for most of them. Okay. There might be one or two celebrities that feel uncomfortable with it, um, but we won't know that until we get there. Right. You know. Yeah. It'll be up to them, I guess. Um, yeah. I, okay. I if I wear a mask, do I have to wear a mask? Like, I think if you like wear an if actual wear a mask, Halloween mask, do you have to wear a mask underneath it? I think that's unfortunately yes okay right now yeah okay yep uh, where well, there we you at? Go. jenny go ahead and hit up the seven yeah so i know you kind of said like you you kind of answered this one question a little bit about it, if you want a celebrity that sometimes they do reach out to you um or you reach out to them but like how long does it take to plan to get a celebrity like how long is that process and how does that work <laughs> could take years yeah yeah <laughs> um i mean we we used to i uh, perfect example like you know i, I don't want to say the, the person's name but everyone could probably guess i've been trying to get this person since day two yeah. i always say day two because the first show you know I, some of those people i didn't want at the show yet right i wanted to see how it worked first yeah. before and people don't understand that when they start a new convention they always rush in to get I need Robert England for my first convention. Yeah. Well, dude, if you bomb, you're never doing it again. Yeah. So it's always good to have people, you know, lower tier guests. But like, I've been on day two, I've been working on this, you know, this guest and I still haven't got him, but I think I'm going to get him one day, you know? So, but yeah, sometimes it takes, sometimes it's real quick, you know? Um, Like some, you know, like, um, you just start working on somebody and it happens right away and you just have to be, you know, at the, 
you know, it could be the right place at the right time. Yeah. You know? Well, well, PD, I mean, I know you've been working on this for, for years and years and years, but if, if you want me to headline Spooky Empire, all you have to do is ask. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and Spooky Empire bombs. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome uh okay well i guess we're kind of uh we kind of asked this question but I'll, I'll go ahead and ask this one on the other end of it we just talked about uh, a dream guest so it doesn't have to be this particular person but if you could line up anybody for spooky empire living or dead or living and dead it could be two people who would you like to have as a guest at spooky living i would love for Paul Stanley to come in October, like an October show. I, you know, I, I just want to show him like Paul Stanley from kiss has like done so much for me and all over the years and everything like that. And, um, I, I always wanted him to see what I've, I've done. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Instead of just being a kiss fan, I want him to see, Oh, this is also what you do. You know? Yeah. Um, I wrote the book and, he loved the book and everything like that. Uh, the children's book. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but I wrote a children's book about taking my daughter to a kiss concert and uh, he loved it. The, all the guys from kiss loved it, but I still want to show him what I do. Yeah. You know? And uh, I, I think that would be a great guest. Um, dead wise. Um, Vincent price. I love, I love oh, Vincent Price. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you amazing. had his daughter, right? Had his I had his daughter yeah, there. His daughter, yeah. 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 Vincent Price is like one of my all-time favorites, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, what about Rick from Terrifier Two? <laughs> he put it on. Yeah, I mean that's a big guest. I mean, um... <laughs> big time. He's got an IMBD. Oh, he does. He's got an IMBD yeah, yeah. page. Yeah. Hold on. He's I don't big. know if this is true, <laughs> but I heard, I heard through the grapevine that he also has one of those cameos. Oh that you can yes, do. he does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> gotta have. Gotta Guy, have is he pushing it? <laughs> <laughs> Big time part right there. There you go. Uh, selfie guy. Yep. <laughs> that self guy. Oh, there you uh, go. Sam Zimmerman, Undertaker. That would be kind of neat. Undertaker yeah. would be awesome. Yeah, he's not yeah. up to much, right? Because he retired, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bring yeah. Him, bring him I, I, used, I used to work for the WWE, and he was a great guy. Yeah. You know? Well, all right. Um, let's go ahead, and uh, we have an optional question, I guess. Jen, do you want to ask the last one? That the um oh tell us uh about Spooky Empire um the horror film festival you guys are doing that in October correct yeah we we do it um every October the film festival we've been doing it for ah uh, at least I I can't remember when we started it um so it's been going for a really long time but um yeah you send in your movies if you go online you could you know figure out where to send your movies in and everything like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's always been a real great thing. And also we also um, give awards. So it's always good to get in there and yeah. uh, people actually watch the movies. Um, nice. It's always packed. Every time I walk by the film festival, it's always packed. Are these like yeah. short films or like full on films? We have every, a little bit of everything. Nice. Yeah. There's uh different and, uh, and, and a lot of Florida films. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god! Which is awesome, you know. You know, uh, I'm not. I'm. I'm just saying this, but we're actually gonna film a short horror film this summer called <laughs> Flamingo. <laughs> Flamingo. Enter, enter it. Enter it into I the think film that festival. Would be perfect I think it'd be awesome for for that. Uh, you have to hit me that when I have the helmet on, sir. Okay. Do you want to put the helmet on right now? <laughs> No, that would be awesome. I don't. We'll have to do that because that would be cool. Flamingo it's Hedden. it's not about killer flamingos. It's about killer voodoo undead yard flamingos <laughs> one time one time we had a, a short film called killer cup and it was like a, a phone one of those white foam cups the coffee cups <laughs> and it was a killer really and it killed people unintended it was great it was awesome it's an environmental film but yeah our, our film festival is awesome uh, but I you won't have you it this time it. you'll just have it in october right yeah, we only do it in October. Okay. Um, you know, I, I always say like our October show is the real show. Right. Um, the the other show is for the fans. It's right. completely for the fans, just so we could all get together and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, the, the October show has so many, you know, events going on. So yeah. many like you know 
everything. Everything you could imagine happens in October. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's so much that you probably don't even get to see. Yeah. You know? So a uh, question in the in the chat here. Will there be copies of your book at the show? Would love to get one and have it signed for my niece. Absolutely. Um, just go to the merch booth. Uh Spook Camper merch booth. We're always um selling them there. Yeah. And, the, and uh, JD put up the link on Amazon for your book. Oh, yeah, he too. did. He put it you could also buy it on Amazon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Well, we're, we're out of questions. Any plans on having Bad Bunny? I don't What is Bad <laughs> What's Bad Bunny? Oh, my. Oh it's Bunny, right? It's, it just says, any plans on having Bad Bunny? Who's Bad Bunny? I think those bunnies are the evil. No, bad bunnies like a bunnies. like a pop thing, right? Hold on, we'll Google it. Bad bunny. Bad bunny's a, Puerto, a Puerto Rican, Rican rapper. rapper. Oh, oh yeah. What? I don't I don't think he's coming. <laughs> Not yet. He's <laughs> working on it. What? Totally different turn. Yeah. Totally different. <laughs> this is okay. a horror yeah. convention. He, he right. doesn't get the cut. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna make it. No. All right. Awesome. Uh, does anybody else have any questions in the comments? Now is the time to ask PD. When else are you gonna ha- be able to have PD sat down? That's right. And ask him a question. Yes, and, and you don't have to run to after him. him. Yep. <laughs> you don't have to chase him. Don't have to chase him. James is in here. What's up? What's up, Lady James? Awesome. Oh, oh. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let's do uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, let's give away the bookie. Oh, the bookie. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, we're gonna give away a bookie, and, and I'll get if I haven't given you one of these already, I'll get you one. Hold on, hold on. I think I got one. Oh, hey. oh he's got a bookie. So Petey doesn't need to win Show one. Show us your bookie. No, I think you gave it to him in uh, December. Yeah. Oh there we snap! Go. There it is. There it is. Yay, hey, nice. Bookie. Bookie. Hold on. Focus. Focus. There, there it is. Go. All right. Screenshot. There we go. Cool. Yeah. All right. Nice. That's that what I like. Cool. A little bit of cross promotion right there. Uh, they collectible. They it collectible. It is a collectible. <laughs> they are limited edition. Each one signed and numbered. Uh, they're not. You'll see them on eBay soon. I, I would love that. Um, you ever go on eBay and look up like I I always look up Spooky Empire on eBay. It's like all kinds of crazy stuff yep, on there. Yeah, I bet. Really? Years I past, bet. man. You can get like old right. T-shirts and uh, stuff like that. It's just awesome. Oh. You know. Oh, um, another question here is: Have you ever thought about branching Spooky out like to other locations or just Orlando? That's a good. <clears throat> no, no, or we would Tampa. we would Maybe love Tampa, to do yeah. a Spooky Empire tour. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's about staffing. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah. You know, um, most of our staff has real jobs, um, you know, and to, to do a tour, we would have to like, you know, at least do one a month and it still, it still wouldn't be enough money to pay everybody. Cause you know, unless it, it was like, you know, a big, big, you know, event, you know, but um, yeah. we definitely want to check out other cities. Um, we were talking about doing Boston and then the pandemic happened. Oh. Uh. So and also there there's great conventions in most of the cities anyway. Yeah. And the word the worst thing is going to somebody else's city where there's a great horror convention and then putting Spooky Empire in there. Yeah. You know, yeah. like I hate when people do that to me. Yeah. Why would I want to do that to them? There, you know, true. there was one a couple of years ago, I believe. Like something tried to. I remember. It was. A yeah, but I, I'm just saying, like, if yeah. if I want to go to a Atlanta. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. there's already Days of the Dead in Atlanta. Yeah. Why do I need to? They already do a perfect, great show. Right. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and it's like a horror hound. I've been to horror hound in Ohio, yeah. and they're just there. Too. Or when they had the um, the the Walking Dead con yeah. here a few years ago. Yeah, I went yeah. to that one. Yeah, that one was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So me put. Uh, you got some love in here, uh, Sloan. Yeah, everybody, give yeah. the love Daddy, for for Petey. Hit Petey, the heart and the you, likes man. and all can't, that stuff. Um, but let's uh, let's Petey. do this. Let's just no. let's give away the bookie before I forget. So, um, this bookie, if you're going to Spooky Empire, will be hand delivered to you by moi. If uh, if not, we'll uh, work out and I'll, uh, I'll I'll we'll work it out where I'll ship it to you, I guess. Uh, but we need a question. We need a trivia question for for that. Hmm. Let's revisit something that, no, that we, we talk, that we talked about in the episode. Yeah. So that way people are paying people attention. People were listening and paying attention. <laughs> right. Um. How about how about we'll just we'll just do a softball. We'll do softball. So we talked about a 
interesting sponsor of one of the early sponsors for Spooky Empire. What company sponsored Spooky Empire in the early days to keep everybody safe? Put first person in the chat to type it in the chat will win. And uh, while while you're doing that, it's got to be on my screen, by the way, on my screen. Um, we got a question in here. Will the will hold on? Where did it go? Brian, will panels Brian, still Brian. have audience Q and A? Will um, the panels still have the audience Q and A? And it was Brian. probably yeah. Okay, and it looks like Brian King is the winner. Brian of a bookie. So Brian, hit us up. We always run into Brian at, at stuff. So so I'll have one of these on me. Just let me know the day you're going, and uh, we'll get this to you right there. Hey. You can even get the the horrible one where I tried to color in the eyes and it didn't go well. I don't know. What, what, <laughs> let, let me ask you guys a question. What would you guys like to see in Spooky Empire? What or who? What? Or, yeah. What? Anything. What? I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I don't know. I mean, I love Spooky the way it is. I mean, yeah. honestly, to to be completely honest. Yeah. Well, I, I maybe don't... some more haunts. Yeah. 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 Some local yeah. haunts. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, I know, haunts, I, I know uh, that there have been some haunts because yeah. I know Shell. Yeah. We, we, we terror, terror. zombie. Mm -hmm. a that, that's a good there. thing we brought up. So we used to do, we used to partner with, um, a bunch of haunts, you know, not a haunts, but it was a haunted convention mm -hmm. and they came with us, you know, and um, it just, it just didn't bring generate enough people to keep doing it. Mm -hmm. So that there's always like that, like we've tried so many things. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, but you guys should do a panel in October. Uh, yeah. Sure. That you know, be, I, I, awesome. I taught a class. I taught a class at Spooky once. Or like, we can get all of us from haunting together. Yeah, and do well, that's what I'm saying. Get all the guys. Yeah. Like when we when we uh, put out, like, hey, does anybody want to do a panel? You guys should put out and say, yeah. haunts, you know, haunts yeah. wants to, we we to do a get, panel, uh, and then Q &A. all you guys sit at the panel and talk about haunts. We and can get what Erica. You guys do. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah do, let's do it. Do I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Sign us up. Sign us up. But I'm just saying, like we that's we need interaction like that with you know the fans and stuff like that. Sometimes the fans, you know, could do things like that, just a Q and A or um, you know, just do something like you know, yeah, we could yeah. uh, that'd be great maybe for we could us partner with the haunts and, and maybe out. Yeah. try to get, maybe give some tickets away or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah that'd be oh, cool. we could give out bookies too. Yeah, yeah we something. could do that totally. I'm down. Let's yeah, do we're, it. we're we're one hundred. However, however we can help the event, yeah, let me yeah. let me know. We're we're always down yeah. to assist. Um. Oh, hold on. Somebody said what they wanted. They want to have a weekend with PD. A weekend <laughs> with PD raffle. <laughs> a contest contest that what awesome. was it? I, I did a contest one time at the show someone had a podcast they were doing a live podcast and um so i i did a contest and i said um let's do a contest that i get to drink with you oh, oh, have a and i went i went and i bought a six pack and we sat down and we just drank some beers that's, that's, a, that's, cool. that's a very right. informal that contest cool. that's pretty cool have a I, I just grant they were like well, let's do a contest i was like all right i'll you know let's do something that you sit down and drink some beers with me and i i brought a six pack oh that's all cool right. uh well we got we've got uh one of our haunt buddies in here courtney why not just do a haunt there at spooky like a little mini haunt could. here's the problem fire marshal uh, <laughs> yep. um you have to get it okayed yep. it and you're only there for three days so you gotta put it up quick so it it's it pretty down. quick yep. Yep. um we would love to do it i think you could do one of those blow up ones yeah but to actually do a haunt in one of the ballrooms it would be just so hard to get the okay from the fire marshal yeah gotcha. so but i mean i would love to do like if people if someone had a haunt that's close by yeah. and did like, um, you know, you buy tickets to it and you yeah. could, you know, rent a bus. Yeah. Right. You know, we're always into that, but it's financially, it's yeah. sometimes not worth it. Gotcha. You know? yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Spooky karaoke. See, spooky karaoke. Scary like fun. We've done that. Yeah, they have. Fun. But we, uh, we also cleared our room out because of it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, somebody started singing and the whole party died. Yeah. Oh. So you have to be good, Melissa, <laughs> if you're going to karaoke. Well, look at me. There's a karaoke. karaoke we, you know, we've had like some amazing people do karaoke. And um, we had the singer from Anthrax do it, right? Oh, Scotty. Uh, 
No, no, um, oh, Joey that, Belladonna. That's right. That's right. Scotty's the. It's one of the. It's so we were all partying. It was at the VIP party, and he started singing Journey songs, oh my God. and everybody just stopped what they were doing and just started staring. Like, oh my God, who is that? I'm like, oh, that's the guy from uh, Anthrax. I, I, and they're I, like. I, He's here. <laughs> I, I want to see uh, David Howard Thornton sing. Apparently, he's got a pretty he's, killer voice. Yeah, he's got a great voice. Oh yeah, he yeah. does. I have oh, and, and voice it, acting. Yes, I have a video. Joey. Uh, Joey Vitone came. He was by the pool one time, and he was uh, singing Bon Jovi songs. Oh, wow. Nice, that's kind awesome. of cool. Such a unique event. It like, is. where else are you gonna? Just that last statement, Joey yeah. Fatone singing Jury Song. Like, where else is that gonna happen in the world? Yeah, it's oh, a I, did I, I have another great story. So. Um, we were doing a show and, uh, so, and I'm a huge Yankee fan. And, um, so this guy comes to the front desk and he wanted to get him for free. And he goes, um, hi, I'm, I'm a pitcher for the Yankees. And I was like, so they called me up. This was not before we had walkie talkies at the time. And they were like, uh, this guy says he's in the Yankees. He's a pitcher for the Yankees. He wants to get him for free. Is it okay? I go, well, who is he? <laughs> and, uh, and they went, it's Goose Gossage. What? I went, let him on yeah. in. <laughs> just, just go, but he has to do one favor for me. And he was like, he was like, all right. So he's like, what's the favor? You know, so I, so I took him aside. I met him and I took him aside. I go, um, one of our guests is another big Yankee fan, which was Alex Vincent, you know? Yeah. And I said, would you just go up to the table and just say hi to him? He goes, oh, absolutely. So I was like, I was like, Alex, um, I got a friend for you. Um, this is my friend Goose. He went, "Hey, Goose." <laughs> <laughs> it was it was just awesome. It was just a cool. That is really that is cool. cool. That yeah. is awesome. So, so apparently, there's a there's so a little you get celebrity some... back door in the yeah, Spooky you Empire. Get, yeah. Spooky. No, there, there's been a lot of a lot of celebrities have came to Spooky Empire that have not been guests. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's, cool. awesome. that's awesome. That's actually where I met uh, Joey Fatone. Was outside of a uh, walking out of a Spooky. Yeah, I was like, "Hey, I, I know saw him at you. Target." You met him at Target. <laughs> I did. I, I, saw, saw I met him, him when, I, when I worked at Disney. He used to come yeah. all the time. So yeah. apparently, he lives close by. So yeah, they yeah. do. Yes. Um, Take the room. Right. After uh, parties, sometimes becomes a little bit like karaoke. Yes. Yeah, yeah so it does. It does. Okay. Yeah. All right. Looks like we're all cut up. We we also I, I know you guys are the Halloween Horror Nights guy, uh, Jack the Clown guy. Oh, James, James Keaton. Keaton. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He, he stopped by our, our after party one time. Uh, yeah, he's really cool. Booth. He's a nice guy. They yeah. could just have an HHN booth and have some yeah. of the HHN yeah, right. celebrities mm -hmm. rotate in and out. And have, oh, have yeah. James and Aaron. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. uh, Mike Aiello, they did a panel that yeah. one year at the Double Training. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. Oh, that's cool. I didn't yeah. know that. Well, it is 8.58. We're going to have to start winding this, this down. This is exciting. But, so Petey, we're going to have to have you back yeah. up to maybe preview the next one. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And we look awesome. forward to next week and, and seeing yes. you at Spooky, man. Yeah. Oh, definitely, man. Yep. Definitely. If, if everybody's out there, just say hi. Don't be scared. No. You know? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> if you come by yourself, always say hi. Yeah. We'll introduce you to everybody. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, and once you meet one person, you're going to meet oh, other yeah. people and other people. And then, then all <laughs> yeah. of a sudden, you are part of the family or yep. they will adopt you, much yeah. like we got adopted. Yep. I, I got adopted by yeah. you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we adopted Jenny. We, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, and I, it's spooky. I think uh, Rick adopted me because I, I had lost my signed autograph picture from um, Linda, Linda Blair. Blair. Yeah. And everybody was so amazing and mm -hmm. helped me find that picture. Because, you know, if somebody's not going to take it. It was signed to me, unless there's another well, Jennifer. Yeah, no. But yeah, it, but everybody helped me find that. And then I even went back over. She ended up re signing another one for me. Oh, so that's too. nice. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. It was very cool. Yeah, see everybody Friday. Can't wait to see Everybody's you Saturday. Really yeah. Thursday. So, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. 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 Thursday night. Thursday night. Oh, yeah. all right, Pete, any last minute shout outs? Anybody want to say? Uh, um... Hey, I, I just can't wait to see everybody next weekend. And, um, you know, keep it real, man. It's been cool, man. Yeah. yeah. This is real. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your yeah. day to be on the show. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, PD, hang out on uh, Zoom for a moment. And okay. we've just got a couple wrap-up things for the show, and then uh, and we'll be right back with you, okay? All right, sounds good. All right, thank you, PD. All right. All right, Jenny. Yes? Do you have any shout-outs to anybody? You want to say goodbye to anybody? 
goodbye to everybody. Okay. And I'll see you next weekend. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll be there. <laughs> we all have uh, the full weekend tickets, so all yeah, most we'll of the hosting crew will be, be there, there all, all, kind of all be, weekend. Yeah, you guys so, will be. I I'll be I'll be at after parties. Okay. So if you see us, so, say so hi. We'll be there. I, I think I might I might do the the devil costume one day, so you yes, might see. Yes, love to see that. Yes, please. Devil claws, yeah. all that stuff. I'll be in my haunting gear, so I'm not dressing up. Uh, well, you're gonna be my handler. I'm gonna be your handler. Yeah. I'm gonna be. Well, I don't know. Handler. Melissa, Melissa might be wearing. Where is it? Oh, the helmet. No, no, the helmet. Uh, helmet. <laughs> like... you'll, you'll see. All right, we gotta wrap this up. Okay, so uh, a couple things. Next week on the show <laughs> on Tuesday, April 27th, we're gonna have Purple Nightshade Productions. They're like horror burlesque, so that ought to be kind of fun. Okay. Uh, so they reached out, so we're gonna have them on the show. No show on Thursday because we'll be at the we'll be at hang, Spooky, we'll be hanging yep. out with Spooky. Uh, do want to give a shout out to our Patreon supporters, Sarah Shepard, John Sebastian Lavelle, and uh, Sam Goodwin, who's like halfway across America right now, moving out west. So I hope you have a good trip. Thank you for supporting the show. Thanks, uh, you watching the show right now, you can support us if you'd like to on Patreon. 100% uh, of everything you donate on the show is invested right back into the show. We got bills. And okay. uh, speaking of, Maximus, Maximus Christian Bryan, Bryan, Bryan is, is awesome. awesome. And here's how you can follow us. Here's all the things. Please follow Haunt Santa on all the social medias. Uh, we appreciate every little bit of support, and uh, we wouldn't be here without you. So that's going to be it. So uh, let's wrap it up here. Uh, Till next time, spook easy. Happy haunting and sponsored by Trojan. Bye. Wow. And? <laughs> Catch you on the haunt side. Bye, guys. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. <laughs>